This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, how to get 30, how to get 20, 20, 20, how to get 20, 20, how to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts. Hi everyone, it's Vernon Kay and it's a very special, well, yeah, I guess it's a very special edition of 10 to the Top because this is the first time that we've ever done it from Cardiff. So strap yourselves in, get ready. Here's today's episode of 10 to the Top. BBC Radio 2, 10 to the Top. All right, let's get on with the quiz. And because we're in Cardiff, I've got our friend Owen Wynn Evans to help us with a couple of questions. So prepare yourselves. Andy York in Chursley, Buckinghamshire. Are you ready, Andy? Yeah, sir, I'm ready when you are. All right, you're part of a group called the Lawnmower Men and you cut the village church's grass for beer. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we started it um, some years ago now and uh, it's a, a, a group of guys. And, yeah, we do the uh, the churchyard during the summer and then, you know, odd jobs and help people out, you know, do the Christmas tree and stuff for the village uh, um, and things like that. It's a, a nice way to... Uh, uh, meet up with some friends and uh, obviously a beer at the end of it. Yeah, perfect. And you're one of the organisers of a large car show for charity held in the local area. That's good. What kind of car show is it, though? Well, to be honest, you know, we, we took anything to begin with because, you know, you just want to get something there. But these days, we, it's, um, we have about 500 vehicles. I, I've got a classic car myself now due to the, the, the show. Well, go on. You, you can't just tease us like that. What have you got? Well, it, it will sound really boring. Um, it's, uh, it's actually a Volvo. Right, nice. But not as you know it. It's the, for the older people, it's, uh, it's from the Saint. It's a P1800 that was made by Jensen in, uh, in the Midlands in 1962. Wow, very good. Pride and joy? Yeah, pride and joy. Quite expensive, but pride and joy nonetheless. Um, OK, let's concentrate on 10 to the top. How do you usually do? What can we expect from your performance, Andy? Well, I mean, uh, it does vary somewhat. But, I mean, I, I mean, respectable would be double figures if I could. All right, so good luck. Ten to the top on Radio 2. Here's your first question for one point. Complete the title of this 1989 song by Phil Collins. Another day where? In paradise. It is, of course, another day in paradise. You've got a point. This one is worth two. We're heading back 23 years for a tune from this week's top ten. But who is the band performing this, please? That'll be Texas. Well done, you've got two points. Which famous rap collective said, Fight the power in 1989 and welcome to the Terror Dome in 1990? Oh, I have no idea. It was Public Enemy. Public Enemy. This one's worth a point. In 1997, Boyzone had a top three hit with their cover version of which Tracy Chapman song? I already know Fast Car. That's a difficult question. It's a good question, but it's a difficult question. It's Baby Can I Hold You? Uh, yeah, okay. 
So, because we're broadcasting today from Cardiff, we've got our very own Owain to ask a question on 10 to the top. So, here we go. Oh, hi, Andy. It's Owain from Early Breakfast on Radio 2. Now, I've noticed uh, there is a distinct lack of questions about Welsh artists so far in your round. So, here's one for you. Which Welsh female singer spent six weeks at number one in 1968 with the song Those Were the Days? Oh, God, is it Sandy Shaw? No, it was Mary Hopkin. This one is worth a point. Here we go. Aha's only UK number one single was The Sun Always Shines on TV. But in what year? 1985? No, you were one year out! No! 1986. 86. 1986. This one's worth a point. Which legendary soul star had a career revival in 1996 when her vintage track, I Just Want to Make Love to You, was used in a famous soft drinks commercial? Is that Nina Simone? No. Same game, different field. It was Etta James. Etta James. Which famous family trio scored their biggest hit of the 90s with the 1993 single For Whom the Bell Tolls? Uh, oh, I'm having a brain freeze. No. The Bee Gees! Oh, my goodness, he only lived down the road from me, didn't he? He lived in Tame. Uh, right, here we go. This is your final clip. It's worth a point. In October 1978, this American musician reached the UK top three with the tune you're about to hear. What's his name? I know this is hard to do, but there's no one for me but you and you can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think we are. These are tricky today. Is it um, Andrew Gold? No, it's Dean Friedman. Dean Friedman. Oh, dear. Last question's worth a point, but we're going to play a joker, so it's now worth two. <laughs> Who made her chart debut in 2008 with the top ten song, Sweet About Me? It's like something like Tweety Pie or Sweetie Pie or something like this. No, it was Gabriella Chilmy. You scored three points. Oh, dear, Vernon, sorry. That is terrible. I've only that down. Well, Andy, I've not said this for a while, but today is really appropriate. We have had a winner with three points. You never know, Andy. You never know. It is 10 to the top. We'll find out if that three is a winning score after this. And then Nicholas Blenko from Peterborough will take over the gaming hockey. It's the 90s. A year of British bands storming the charts. And the best of Britain are making waves on the world stage. Pop groups have begun the biggest chart war in 30 years. Britpop. Think Pulp and Suede. Blur battling Oasis. I'm in it to get to the top of those charts. British guitar music is sat at the front of everything until it isn't. What led to the thaw of Cool Britannia? Do you like the word Britpop? No, it's the horriblest name ever. It's so tinny. We take you through the rapid rise and fall of one of the biggest musical moments in British history. It was certainly kind of the end days of the music industry. The rise and fall of Britpop. Listen on BBC Sounds. Well then, there you go. That's something to listen to once you've finished with this. And don't forget, with BBC Sounds, you can subscribe and get your favourite podcast, Don't loaded directly to your device so you can listen whenever and wherever you want. Anyway, let's crack on. Ten to the top. All right, three is the score to beat, but I don't know whether that's a blessing or a curse, Nicholas, in Peterborough, because we have had a winner with three, so I guess the pressure, there's a little bit more pressure on yourself because you know you've got to beat a relatively low score. That's, that's right, yeah. If, it, if it's a high score, then it'd be, uh, it'd be no pressure, but I'd like to try and get more than three, so... Yeah, we'll see how you do. Uh, you like visiting theme parks with the kids? Which one's your favourite? Uh, pr- probably Alton Towers. Sort of try to go to different theme parks every month and quite quite like, lucky because most of them within two hours drive. So you can sort of get there relatively early. What kind of rides do you like? Uh, strangely enough, se- scenes we go often 
Oh, I'm no good on a big ride. Uh, any ride which takes you upside down, it's no good for me. It's not. It's not natural. So. Uh, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave out for, for bigger kid and I'll just <laughs> I'll stand there holding coats and bags. That's my job. Do you know what? What you said there is absolutely perfect for anyone who doesn't like theme parks. It's just not right. It's just not meant to be. We're not supposed to be upside down. We weren't made that way. That's it. Uh, exactly. Right, you've got three to beat. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay, good luck. One point. Complete the title of this huge 90s tune by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Under the what? Bridge. It was Under the Bridge. Perfect for two points. Name the 1988 single that gave Bobby McFerrin his only UK top 40 entry. Uh, I've, I've got no idea. Uh, not a clue. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, OK. Anyway, for a point, it's your first clip. Susanna Hoffs is celebrating her birthday today. Here she is singing a few lines on a huge bangles hit from 1986. What's the title of this tune? Slight feet up the street, bend your back, shift your arm, then you pull it back. Like it's hard to know. Walk like an Egyptian. Yes, it is. Walk like an Egyptian. Well done. You've got a point. And once again, because we're in Cardiff, here's my Radio 2 colleague, Owen Wynne Evans, to ask a question. Hi, Nicholas. It's Owen again, making sure there's an equal amount of Welsh questions in 10 to the top. And here's yours. On their top 20 hit in 2003, what sort of dog did the super furry animals sing about? Uh, I don't know. It was a golden retriever. Well, okay. uh, here we go. What kind of weekend did Lloyd Cole and the Commotion sing about on their 1985 hit? Uh, I don't know. Yes, long weekend. No. It was a lost weekend. Oh, okay. For a point. Figaro and Angelo. We're both number one singles in the 1970s for which former Eurovision winners? Oh, I'm trying to think, I can't remember the name. It was the Brotherhood of Man. I remember them. For a point, this is getting close. In what year did the song Kung Fu Fighting reach number one for Carl Douglas? Uh, nine, 1974? Yes, it was 1974. Well done. Oh, wow. Well done, you. Right, here we go for two points. This is your second clip. Here's a cover version of a 1978 disco smash by Sylvester. Who's the man with the distinctive voice doing the remake on this week's top 10 in 1990? Uh, no, sorry, I don't know. Oh, Jimmy Somerville. Right, this one's worth a point. Who spent 11 weeks at number one in 2019 with their tune called Dance Monkey? Tones and I. Yes, it is Tones and I. For two points, and we're going to play a joke, which means it's now worth four. <laughs> which American musician had her two biggest UK hits with the songs Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover in 1992 and Right Beside You in 1994? Uh, uh, Mariah Carey. 
No, it was Sophie B. Hawkins. You scored four points. Well, wow, that's, that's a relief, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I told you, didn't I? It came down to the penultimate question for Nicholas to beat your three, Andy. That was a very close, tightly fought contest because those questions today on Centre to the Top were very tricky. I think you'll both agree. Yeah, I did a little better with Nicholas, but well done, Nicholas. Yeah, I, I was nowhere on that one. Well done, Andy. They were tricky. Well done to you both, and thank you very much. And if you want to play, all you got to do is get in touch. Use the email address. It's 10 to the top, all letters, no numbers. 10 to the top at bbc.co.uk. And if you've got the WhatsApp application, 08000 288 291. Send us your details on that, and a member of the team will get in touch. We'll play again tomorrow. Of course we will, 10.30. 10 to the top on Radio 2. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads.